this the captain. <laughs> He'll be taking us out again today. Where are we going, Captain? Oh, he's we're going him. to Fermain Deep. Skipper's in his summer plumage, but he hasn't got the shorts on yet. It's not that warm. Hello. It's the full team. Matt, Paul. Hey. Phil. Yes. And Molly. Hello. Right. On a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday, darling. If it's fit to go, yeah. go down the slope to about 35 and go with the flow. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. 24! Oh, that was a big splash. Matt never lets us down with his splashes. So where are we now, Richard? Just outside Amfri in the Amfri Deep. On the side of the slope, and they're going to end up on the Amfri Wall. And how deep is it here? It's 24 here. Amfri Wall's about 35 to the bottom, and up to about 20 meters. And normally, there's a crayfish or two to be filmed. Oh. But they're not very big. No. So me and Phil's dropped to the bottom and there's probably a knot, just maybe just over a knot of tide just pulling us along. There's a nice healthy amount of scallops here. We're at 28 meters and we're just heading in a southerly direction. So I now turn my lights on just so you can see it a bit better. drift dive as you can tell Phil isn't thinning yet he's still moving at a fair old pace as you can see our lines are facing forward now uh, means there's a lot of tide especially on the surface it's pulling our boss faster than it's pulling us so much tide it's ripped a bit of seaweed off. It's good to see there's loads of babies along here as well. I keep looking over my left shoulder just to check how close we are to this reef. I can tell there's a reef even though I can't see it because there's a scour in the sand. So it looks nice and dark because it's actually um, the seabed drops away pretty quick here. It's about 45 degree this sand and it doesn't look it but it is. So 
about this time I hear Phil going, uh oh. And we smack bang right into a reef. So we've got to decide, do we, do we want to swim to the left or do we want to swim to the right? Um, I think the decision was made for me with Phil. Um, let's swim over the top of it. decision was the right one really because the ropes going over the top of the reef um, they hook on all these little tiny barnacly bits that stick out the top so if we'd gone to the left or the right potentially is we would have had our line stuck would have had to swim back so now it's a bit of a guessing game What's below us? What's in front of us? So, we're just feeling it now. And again, because our lines are so horizontal, um, we have to go over the reef again. You can see it would definitely get caught. And Phil's just giving me a hand on attaching mine. Ask him Phil if he's alright. Now both of us know what we want to do. We want to swim west to try and get on the inside of the reef, but it's a lot easier said than done. keeping my line as tight as I can because I hate for it to go slack um, and cause a loop and go over the top of my regs or anything like that so just keep it nice and tight. The reason I've kept this um, bit of video and I'm showing you is just to prove that you know every dive we do isn't a perfect dive, it isn't an easy dive and uh, it's just one of them things. To me this dive was a bit of a waste even though it's fun. You can see now Phil's tried swimming west here. of it and try and film a bit of sea life while I'm here. So over my left 
uh, shoulder it goes a lot deeper it's probably 35 40 meters down that side and I'm roughly about 21 22 meters now take a look at Phil's line it's almost horizontal in the tide Cucumber. So what I'm saying there is you always got to keep to the left of field because you don't want our lines tangling up so always try and stay on his left. Another failed attempt to swim in west. Now we're heading south easterly again. example of what would happen if I did swim around the other side of the reef. Phil's had no choice but go over the top so his line doesn't get caught. Depending on where we were on the reefs, um, some parts on the outside were trying to pull us down and some parts in between the reefs where the tide was coming in between two, two reef heads, it was trying to lift us up. Because Phil went to the left of me, yeah our lines got caught, but it was alright, we, we cleared it pretty quickly. Because Phil's got loads of experience, he knows now to call his rope up so his bag is off the bottom. Because if your bag gets caught on the bottom or on one of the reefs, you'd be flying like a flag holding on to your line, which isn't comfortable and it's not safe. And there's Phil's line coiled up lovely and we get a nice calm drift. Because we were bobbing in and out of reefs and up and over and in and out, we didn't get any scallops. Wasn't surprising, you don't get scallops on rocks. Bill, take me through that dive. Well, let's say that was a little bit exciting. 
and we couldn't really call it a dive, it was more like climbing or mountaineering down yeah. cliff face after cliff face after cliff face. There was loads of sea life, but it's just we didn't get a chance to look at it. Gone. Oh, look, strong hand. Let's say so, uh, the pulse race went up a little bit yeah. and the air consumption went up a bit. The uh, trick was to remain calm at all times. At all times. I think we did. Arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> Keep untangling your line from the reef. Looks like Molly's done all right. How deep were you, Mole? 37. Yeah, we were. We, we hit 13, that was it. That was it. Oh well, on to the next dive. Now it's over to the captain to show us yet again how it's the done. The old man of the sea is going to have to go down and see if he can get 90. Here he is. Is Mike going to be worried? I'm afraid he's winner today. Oh no. Winner, winner, scallop dinner. Yeah, yeah I wasn't going to wind it today. Oh. I died this morning. Oh. Yeah, he already done a, a 170 this morning. He just can't stay out the sea. Well, look. He's even got 40 bar left. Oh, he's a good boy. And five minutes safety stop. None of this decompression bit for me. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I don't think that 32% is supposed to go to 41 metres. Dive safe, live long. Because we're further up next to the harbour mouth you find a bit more waste like a bottle, rope and old fishing gear. It's almost as if he was waiting for me to come and grab him. no exaggeration when I say there must be tens of thousands of bottles dumped at sea, especially in this area.
Oh, my bag's got caught on some bit of debris. I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, sorry, Mr. Rockfish. <laughs> Little tampot Blenny in its bottle. Fishing gear waste, it's probably a robber wheel up of a trawler, trawler uh, cage. He's not liking his collar dropped on his head, can't blame him really. eagle-eyed people you'd notice I'm back to where I was before when I got my bag stuck on that bit of debris I've actually done like a, a circle underwater navigation is pretty hard even though we do use the compasses on our computers um, you can tell uh, when the when the tides like this you know it's going south so uh, you can just feel it on your body which way you're going. The bottle that still has its metal lid on. So this is a lump of cold. Um, it's very light underwater, especially when you chuck it. See as you pick it up again and chuck it down. It's not like a normal stone, it doesn't fall as fast as a normal stone. Oh, sorry, almost dropped it on a spider crab. Swimming back through the silt I've just made. So all lost divers got all different techniques of um, how we dive. I like to try and kick into the tide, as you see I'm doing now. Which just tries and uh, you hold your ground a bit more so you're not racing off set down south quickly. Um, you want to try and hold your ground if you can. It helps the person in the boat. Um, when it comes to retrieval, so if you haven't travelled far, it's not so bad for them. There's my magic 50 bar. Um, really, you should be hitting the surface at 50 bar. Um, the 50 bar is the part where it goes into the red. So I don't recommend anyone else do the same as me. Um, it's a, an old fisherman's welly by the looks of it. You 
in my head I'm always saying right 50 bar one more scallop and I'm going up He's been a feisty one this one throughout the whole dive. Um, he's been trying to snip at me. Although I can't hear this, because I've got a clear um, skirt on my dive mask, I can actually see it through the corner of my eye. Thank you. Some big spiders. A couple of spiders. Just moly left now, I think. Somewhere. He's blowing the old. There's Molly. Well, that wasn't Ooh. so rapid, Jake. Yeah, no, yeah, second dive was better. I really enjoyed that. Did Paul enjoy his second dive? I'll say my first two were better. Mate, no You're not very good at showing your emotions, are you? There's no clues in me. He holds it back, eh? He does hold it back. Yeah. There's no clues in me. I'm about to edit the first dive, Paul's dive. He goes against the YouTube community. Decomposing. Come on, John, you need to get that computer back. Yeah. 200 bar. 35 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Two hundred miles. <laughs> 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 My lift bag. <laughs> hey, what's that? <laughs> That's a nice catamaran. So there you have it, two dives done. The first one was a bit of a uh, bit of a jumble around on the reef there. Uh, um, deep, well, one side was 20 meters, the other side was 40 meters, and we, me and Phil were just bouncing off the rocks. But uh, the trick is not to panic, take your time. If you get caught up, just leave the bag, you've got delays in your pocket, you, you, you'll be fine. Um, it happens, you get dives like that. We probably should have been another 10 or 15 meters further uh, west, and we probably would have missed all that. But you don't know where you are underwater. You're going so quick, it's so dark, visibility ain't, ain't that good. But I had a good time anyway. I caught a uh, sea cucumber anyway on video. <laughs> I hope it come out. Um, second one was better dive. We, we numbers were still low, but it's quite a nice, steady, steady tide that one. Anyway, I enjoy both dives. I don't think Paul enjoyed one of his dives, but anyway, I'll catch you on the next tide.